Good evening YouTube friends and family. This is Laura coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about kids and commitment. And if I have any parents listening, I know sometimes when your kids sign up for an activity or a sport and then they change their mind and they don't want to do it anymore. I, I know the frustration. I've been there. And so this is just a little help for the parents out there that are saying, you know what? My kids won't stay committed to anything. And how can we get them to stay committed? And so I want to start off with a quote on this video. And then we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to discuss some ways that we can talk to our students about remaining commit committed. And the first quote states that motivation gets you started and commitment keeps you going. So that's letting us know that our kids need more than just motivation to keep them going. And we need to make them understand that. The second quote is the quality of a man's life is in direct proportion to his commitment to excellence. And so why is it important that we talk to our kids about commitment? And how do we talk to them about commitment? As a parent, I experienced so many times where my children would start something and then after a few weeks, I would hear the same story. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm too tired. I don't like it anymore. Uh, I don't want to go to practice today. I'm sick. I don't feel good. Or can I just miss practice today because I want to stay at home and play with my friends or play my video games. And as a parent, it's like, okay, hold on a second. I would think about in the age of pay to play, I have to not only pay for you, if you're in elementary or junior high, pay for you to participate in this activity or sport. Also, I had to pay a price, set up an appointment, uh, pay a doctor's fee for the physical, and sometimes that's not cheap. Also, as a parent, I think about, okay, the cost of the uniform, the tennis shoes, the jersey, the equipment, and oh yeah, the cost of gas, of getting this child back and forth from practice to home, from school to practice, and so on and so forth. And so after a couple of times, I had to just say, you know what? No, you're going to stick with this. You're going to finish out the term or you're going to finish out the semester. And then after that, if you decide that you don't want to do this anymore, that's fine. But we couldn't keep dancing around like that. And so I'm not saying that we have to force our kids to participate in anything, but there is a level of commitment that we should expect from our kids if they're coming to us and saying, this is something that I really want to do. And I'm not talking about, you know, us forcing our child to participate in activity for, you know, for instance, the parent that says, OK, I played the piano, so you're going to play the piano. Well, of course, the child's level of commitment and their excitement is going to dwindle because this is not something they wanted to do in the first place. But today, what I'm talking about on this video is when your child comes to you and says, you know what, I want to play basketball. I want to be the next Michael Jordan. And you do everything you can, everything in your power to help them to succeed at being the next Michael Jordan. And so what do we do when they tell us, I no longer want to do this? So first of all, we have to, we have to give them some examples and we have to talk about the Michael Jordans of the world. And so the first example is the life of Michael Jordan. What did Michael Jordan do to become Michael Jordan? Well, he practiced every day. He practiced for long hours. He was committed. And there's that big word, commitment. Because I think sometimes, my friend, our children, they don't understand the difference between commitment and interest. And so when we break those two words down, an interest is something that's predicated on your circumstances. It's predicated on how you feel. You know, if you just have an interest in something, today you could be interest, interested in it, and tomorrow you may not. 
Today you may feel like showing up and tomorrow you may not. You may come up. It gives you the, the leeway to easily come up with excuses not to do what you said you were going to do. Okay, so now let's look at, let's compare commitment. Commitment takes away all excuses. When we're committed to something, we're loyal to it regardless of how we feel. There are no excuses. We're dedicated. We're going to work hard at it. We're going to support it to the end. And so why is it so important for our kids to realize that they have to remain committed? Because I don't think that Michael Jordan became committed in college. I don't think that Michael Jordan realized the importance of commitment when he, you know, when he was chosen for the NBA. I think commitment is something that Michael Jordan realized early in life. Because you know what? When you're in elementary and when you're in junior high, everyone is going to get a chance to compete. Everyone is going to get a chance to participate. But you know what? Our kids need to understand that once you get to high school, that's when you're in competition mode. That's where the real competition shows up. That's where, you know what? You may make the team, but you may not get any time on the floor. Or you may make the team and everything, and you may get a chance to participate in an activity, but you don't win the trophy. You don't win the medal. You know, you don't win the certificate. You don't get the recognition. And so that's where, that's why we need to start having these conversations about commitment early in life. Because you know what? It's, it's, it's very hard to realize and say, well, what am I doing wrong if you've never been taught about commitment? Because in order to maintain that Michael Jordan level of success, in order to maintain the number one place in anything, in order to win at it, you're going to have to be commitment. You're going to have to show commitment. You're going to have to have heart. You're going to have to have dedication. And commitment is not something that you show up that day and all of a sudden uh, your commitment kicks in. Commitment starts with what you're doing outside of the game, outside of the activity. Your level of commitment, it shows up every day. And so we need to make sure they understand that commitment is what you do every day. It's what you do after the game is over. It's what you do before the game starts. And you have to realize, our students have to realize that if they want to win the trophies, if they want to be number one, if they want to be successful, they're going to have to be hungry enough to put in the hard work, the dedication in order to remain number one, or they're forever going to be number two, number three, or not make it, you know, in the top three at all. And sometimes, you know, it's hard when they, when they're participating in something and they get frustrated, like, okay, well, why am I not winning number one? Well, your performance is in direct proportion to how much commitment you've put into it, how much practice you've put into it. And another example, um, we have to make sure that our students understand that whenever you sign on to something, whenever you're a part of a team, that there are people that depend on you to show up. There are people, your team depends on you when you come in to be ready to perform, to be in tip top shape, to be at 100%. And they're not, they don't want to hear the excuse that I'm tired or I don't feel good or um, I just didn't feel like showing up for practice or instead of coming to practice to practice with you guys, I decided to play video games or hang out with my friends. Your team, they're depending on you. They're making sacrifices, so you're expected to make those same sacrifices. And without commitment, you're not going to be able to make the same sacrifice. You're not going to be able to support the team and be the best team player that you can be. You know, we also have to give them an example of, um, you know, let's look at the lives of people who are number one in their field, whether it's an actor, a singer, a rapper. Uh, a doctor, a lawyer, famous people, rich people, they didn't get there by saying, okay, this week I'm going to be work really hard. And then next week I'm not going to work at all. 
They didn't get to be the top in their business. They didn't get to be the number one rapper or singer or dancer by practicing sometimes and other times, you know, taking some time off and not showing up. They didn't get to be at that level by making excuses not to practice. They didn't get that. They didn't get to that optimal level of performance by getting into what they feel like. It's not predicated on what you feel like. It's predicated on how hungry you are and if you really want this. So if it's just an interest, yes, your interest, it, it will peak one day. It will fluctuate. It will be up today, down tomorrow. But if you're committed, you don't allow how you feel to dictate your level of commitment. And so our, our students, they need to understand that. I mean, we need to give them example as parents of our own lives. Um, what if mom and dad didn't get up every day? Do you think that they don't have a bad day or do you think they feel like getting up every day, going to work, performing the same job for 25 or 30 years? No, it takes commitment to do that. It takes commitment because you know that there are people depending on you. If you don't get up and go to work, there, there's not going to be a house or an apartment. There's not going to be food on the table. There's not going to be clothing or shoes for your children. And so we don't get to have a day where we say, well, you know, I'm just going to quit my job and I'm, I'm just not going to do this anymore because I don't feel like it. I don't like this job anymore. You know, our children need to know the real deal of what we experience as adults. The adult world, the adult life, it's not easy, you know. Uh, it's not like high school where every semester you get to change classes and have a different teacher or you get to switch classes if you don't like the way this particular teacher uh, teaches a subject. The world is not like that. And so we have to start early with getting them to understand that you're not going to always feel like doing something. But if you're hungry for it and if you want to be successful at it, you have to work twice as hard as the person next to you. And we have to realize that there's always, our students need to realize that there's always someone waiting for you to mess up so that they can take your place. There's always someone out there that's willing to work harder and do the things that you're not willing to do. And so then we don't have room to complain when we're not number one at our game, when we don't win the trophy, when we don't get the medal. You know, if you haven't put the time in, then don't complain about it because a person's performance, we can look at, we can give examples of people who are at the peak in their lives and we can give examples to our students of people who are not achieving at the level that they want to. And it's because maybe, you know, they kind of didn't show up for practice like they should. They didn't work hard enough. They weren't committed enough. So we have to make sure that our students understand before they sign up for anything, you know what? We have to talk to them that your enthusiasm that you feel right now, well, what are you going to do next week when you're not so enthusiastic? What are you going to do um, next week when you see your friends outside playing or your friends want you to come and hang out and party? What are you going to do when you want to play your video games, but you need to be at practice? What are you going to do when you're tired? We have to ask them these important questions. And I don't think it's too young to start in elementary to start talking with them and discussing commitment and the importance of commitment. And so I just wanted to give some examples and I just any parent out there or grandparent or any coach out there that's feeling frustrated because you have this child that you know, um, today they're into something, tomorrow they're not, or they want to quit, or they want to stay at home, and they want to put everything else before what they have to do. You know, we have to make sure that we're having these open dialogues about commitment. It's so important. And so I think that I'm going to, to end the video at this point. You know, um, you know, just make sure that we're talking to our students, that we're giving them real life examples that we're talking about the importance of commitment, the difference between um, an interest, um, the importance of commitment versus motivation, the importance of dedication and working hard and loyalty. 
You know, they need to know what all of this means. And it needs to start at an early age because commitment doesn't just show up when you become an adult. There has to be something in your life that you're committed to before you reach adulthood. And you have to know that feeling of working hard and being committed. And this will take you through adulthood because there are adults that give up on things really quick. Um, you know, that jump from this to this and I don't like this anymore. So I'm going to do this. You know, they never find their level of commitment. And I guarantee you that this is something that started, you know, in their early childhood days. And so let's have a, let's have those conversations. Let's be open. Let's be honest. Let's give examples. You know, let's talk about, give examples in our own lives. You know, we have to, we have to paint a picture for our kids to understand what we mean by commitment and the importance of being committed. Okay. And so I'm going to end the video, but before I do, I want to read you a few more quotes that I found on commitment. And let's see, um, quote number three, it says people fail due to lack of commitment. Uh, number four, it says you can never conquer what you are not committed to. And I believe that truly. And the very last one that I'm going to leave you with is that commitment is staying loyal to what you said you were going to do long after the mood you said it in has left you. And that's the most important one. Staying committed long after the mood you said it in has left you. And so I want to thank you for taking out the time to listen to this video. If you enjoy the content of my YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and share. And as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.